Decision. Hey, it's Dave here. Welcome to the D List, the show where I list things and my name begins with a D. And I don't know about you, but I could go for some pizza right now. I've dedicated several videos by this point to my favorite recent Disney television animation programs, but I haven't really focused a lot on the ones I grew up with or the ones from my teenage years, and for my money, the most underrated Disney television animation program was The Weekenders. The Weekenders ran from 2000 to 2004, and it chronicled the weekends of four Bahia Bay middle schoolers named Tino, voiced by Jason Marsden, Lore, voiced by Gray Delisle, Tish, voiced by Kath Susie, and Carver, voiced by Phil Lamar. I see what you did there, giving that dance move to the Pulp Fiction cast member. While the stories were often standard kid show fare, the show was elevated by snappy dialogue and a surprisingly grounded world for animation. But that's not to say the show never dabbled in absurdity, and one of the most memorable examples was the running gag of the pizza place. The pizza place was run by the unnamed pizza guy, who, like most adults in the series, was voiced by Jeff Bennett. Every week, he would reinvent the pizza place into a new, ridiculously over-the-top theme. So, what do you think of Postal Pizza, with five service windows and only one employee? Or maybe visualize World Pizza. How about the pizza that dares not speak its name? It was never established why. Was the store failing and it was out of desperation to drum up business? Or was the pizza guy just really easily bored? Some of these were clever themes that did seem likely to attract kids. Others were... others. And some of them were really bad ideas that still made for really funny television. And occasionally, they'd even be thematically relevant to the episode's story. So, I'm gonna count down my favorite themes attempted by the Bahia Bay Pizza Place. Some of them are pizza places I would actually genuinely enjoy trying out in real life. Others are... themes that make me laugh, but I'm happy to see them confined to fiction. And while the show never repeated an exact theme, some of the themes had similar concepts, so I'll be lumping some of those together. Without further ado, my favorite Bahia Bay pizza places. Playing games and you're not roller coaster, then go down, go to the mall, not a fun pizza ride. Number 15. Pizza Farm and Pizza Pioneer. These are lumped together because they're the two instances where the pizza place seemed to be overrun by livestock. <laughs> I wonder if the health department knows about this. Any moo. <laughs> Very unusual theme here this week. Pizza Farm appeared first, so does that make Pizza Pio near the prequel set before the pizza settlers found their pizza homestead? It's possible these themes started from the pizza guy thinking, screw it, why should I clean up around here? Eben, bring the shovel. These are on the low end of themes that would be entertaining in real life, but they're fun to watch from a distance. Okay, young friends. If you're getting any sort of beef product on your pizza, does this become like a Millaways scenario? Playing games and you're not roller coaster, then go down, go to the mall, not a fun pizza ride. Number 14. Pizza Emergency. Man, pizza places do not get much higher stakes than this. Hmm. This is one of the more intense and personally invasive pizza places, but you gotta admire the pizza guy's commitment to the character. I prescribe one large pepperoni pizza and 360 cc's of cola each. Stat! And any discomfort is forgiven because this pizza place panders to every kid's secret desire to find out that pizza is good for you. Okay, you're the doctor. Playing games and you're not roller coaster, then go down, go to the mall, not a fun pizza ride. Number 13. The Pizza's Court. I kind of hate myself for how much I love that pun. And of course the theme is used as a setup for an even more obvious pun. Order in the court! Come on, I said order! Oh, right. Yes, yes, I bask in your terrible wordplay, animated food service employee. Objection! No meat on my part. One subpoena pizza special, adjourned! Playing games and you're not roller coaster, then go down, go to the mall, not a fun pizza ride. Number 12. Shake's Pizza. This just had to be the theme on a weekend Tish couldn't make it. This isn't the most heavily decorated of pizza places. The theming mostly comes from the server's performance and the newly assigned vernacular. Romano and Juliet Pizza. To bean or not to bean chili for root layers. Like most Southern Californians in the food service industry, I'm going to guess that the pizza guy is a struggling actor. Pizza's a little undercooked. Oh, 
know that this too, too solid cheese would melt once more into the oven, dear friends, once more! Playing games, hanging up, roller coaster, they go down, go to the mall, not a fun pizza ride! Number 11. Paleolithic Pizza. This one is probably the most accurate representation of a cheesy theme restaurant with its tacky decor and its cheap animatronics. But honestly, take most kids to any dinosaur themed pizza place and they'll love it no matter how cheap it looks. Give us cardboard cutouts of dinosaurs for all we care. All we want are dinosaurs and pizza together at last. Cavemen and dinosaurs together? This is so inaccurate. Current scientific thought holds that the dinosaurs died out millions of years before even the most primitive proto-human. Yeah, millions of years before pizza, too. Want me to bring you a baked trilobite instead? I withdraw my objection. Playing games, hanging out, roller coaster, then go down, go to the mall, not a fun pizza ride. Number 10. Cirque de Pizza. Oh, sure, circus theming seems easy. Lord knows I wasn't thrilled when Disney announced they were dedicating so much space to that very theme in real life. But of course Disney committed to making it the best, most detailed version of that theme it could be. And just like Disney, the Bahia Bay pizza guy is probably a little too dedicated to his craft. So this ostensibly easy theme ends up being one of his worst ideas. And now, Cirque de Pizza presents your flying trapeza! Extra cheese! There goes a man who never gave up on a stupid idea. Number 9. Surreal Pizza. Kind of a broad theme and not necessarily one that might seem immediately appealing to kids, but look at that wallpaper there. I'm starting to suspect that the pizza guy is not only a frustrated actor, but also a frustrated art student. You guys order the electric monkey boot with bazooka cobblestones? <laughs> I would give every dollar I have to a Kickstarter to make this pizza place a reality. Number 8. Pizza Knot and Deep Dish 9. That's one small step for man, one large pizza for you. These ones are on the list because they probably would have been the most fun for me as a kid in real life. Even though they're not Disney's most exciting fictional space-themed pizza place, the decorations are still cooler than the time they tried to make that one non-fictional. Pizza Knot seems to be themed more after science fact, mostly, and Deep Dish 9 is themed more after science fiction, specifically just narrowly avoiding some Paramount trademarks. One photon to a pizza hold the dilithium. I hope that's food coloring in that cheese. Playing games, hanging out, roller coaster, then go down, go to the mall, not a fun pizza ride. Number seven, discount pizza. If there's one thing the citizens of Bahia Bay love, it's a competitive sale, so this is about as crowded as we ever see the pizza place. Even though this one is probably the least appealing in real life. Give it! We saw it first! For a 23 cent deep dish, I'll hang on till closing time. Then bon appetit, dude. Ugh, at least Little Caesars keeps their discount pizza in boxes. Was it? Attention shoppers! All designer pizzas have been marked down 75%. Playing games, hanging up, roller coaster, then go down, go to the mall, not a fun pizza ride. Number six. Prison pizza. Yeah, that's what kids want on the weekend. It's to be locked up. One Alcatraz special. This might be the pizza place most closely tied to the episode's story. Not the A story, but a C story running gag. Bring us some sodas or you'll get a mouth of a knuckles, you dirty mug. What's up with Tish? She's been watching old detective movies every night. That's how they talk in those things. Tish's noir-inspired vernacular feels right at home when she's having lunch at the big house. Yeah, quit giving me the fish eye, you jokers. Man, people in old movies talked weird. I think she said something about fish. And that gag ultimately does tie in with the episode's themes of revenge, so really the pizza place is just one degree removed from the A story. If this episode came out today, I think this pizza place would double as an actual escape room. Yeah, remind me to add big metal files to my list of things I don't want to find in my food. Playing games, hanging up, roller coaster, then go down, go to the mall, not a fun pizza ride. Number five, Pizza the Musical and Pizza Lounge. 
Amazingly, these were the only two times that the overly theatrical pizza guy tried his hand at singing. In real life, terrible songs are a much bigger staple of novelty pizza places. I guess he was discouraged from trying it again after these two backfired, one from a lack of proper rehearsal. Let's start the show, we aim to please. We're dancing, singing, and we're bringing dough and cheese. I knew I should have cast Carol Channing. And one from an unimpressed audience. A special today that our chef is making is pineapple, cheese, and Canadian bacon. Ah. Our usual. Hold the singing. Yeah, okay. Playing games, hanging out, roller coaster, then go down, go to the mall, not a fun pizza ride. Number four. Mission in Pizza Bowl and Pizza Spy. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Mission in Pizzable is the much better name. Pizza Spy, you're not even trying. That said, it was still worth going back to the spy theme for the added gags in Pizza Spy. They tell me Rotterdam is very lovely this time of year. Yeah, the tulips are in bloom. Film is in the crust. Mission Impeachable really only had the one gag with the pizza guy pulling a Tom Cruise. Your pizza, should you choose to accept it, is a pepperoni with extra cheese. Oh, sure, Tom Cruise. Try calling me when a pizza guy emulates Peter Graves. <laughs> and the final gag in Pizza Spy might be my favorite gag in the entire series. <gasps> Number three, Lord of the Pies. Hey, hey, sneaking more literary references in. This show is educational. How about uh, finding us a waiter there, Tone? Sure. Good luck. It's like there's no one in charge around here. <laughs> I'm surprised it took this long for the pizza guy to go, okay, screw it, these kids are on their own. <laughs> so are they gonna catch the pig and turn him into a pizza? <laughs> Doing okay, Tony. Sure. At a certain point, these aren't really pizza places anymore, are they? Number two, inflatable pizza. <laughs> Look, balloons are a fun decoration to have in a themed pizza place, but they're not fun enough to build the theme around. One inflateroni extra cheese. Voila! Whoa, should have seen that coming. Hang on, I'll get you a flat one. <laughs> would that even have been edible? I mean, don't get me wrong, a pizza that gives you helium voice would be a lot of fun for a kid. I think it's safe to say that this is the worst idea that the pizza guy ran the furthest with without thinking it through, and I'm so very glad he did. Okay, one regular flat pizza. Whoa, should have seen that coming. Playing games, hanging out, roller coaster, then go down, go to the mall, not a fun pizza ride. And my number one favorite pizza place from the Weekenders. You won't believe it's a pizza. I have absolutely no clue why the pizza guy thought this was a good idea, but I love it so much. Now would you ever in a million years believe this was a pizza? The entire theme here is pizzas that don't look like pizzas. And apparently he's so good at it that he even confused himself. That's so cool. It looks just like an old beach ball. Hey, it is an old beach ball. Oh, sorry. Be right back. Who is this marketed to? Other than the four kids who come here every week, regardless of what the theme is. O okay, who could ever possibly believe this was a pizza? I'm sorry. Looks like some kind of hat. And there you have it, my favorite themes attempted by the pizza place in The Weekenders. So, which one was your favorite? And what were some of your other favorite things about The Weekenders? And if you've never seen The Weekenders, check it out, it's pretty good. And until next time, later days, 